lemon basil chicken is on the menu today. That's what we're doing. And I tell you, it's super simple to make. We're gonna be barbecuing, but you do have to plan ahead because we need to marinate our chicken so that all those flavors get into the chicken and it makes it taste incredible. You wanna marinate this at least two hours, but I think the best way to do it is to marinate it in the morning, let it just you know soak in all those flavors for several hours, five or six hours until dinner time, and then all you do is pop it on the barbecue and you're good to go. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, so here's chef joke number one, and we'll have number two a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, so what did the basil say to the chef? Stop pestoing me. Okay, we're starting off here making our marinade. We are using boneless, skinless chicken thighs as I like those the best. You can use chicken breast if you want to, just be careful not to overcook it. It's less forgiving in that category, uh, I think. You know, when you're cooking thighs, it's pretty hard to overcook them. So I have my dish here that I'm gonna marinate in. You could also use a Ziploc bag, that's up to you. So we're gonna take some olive oil and this is about a quarter of a cup. And you can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video. So click down there where it says show more. And to that, we're gonna add some zest. Now I'm gonna add the zest and some juice, lemon juice here to this mixture so that uh, it's much easier to zest first and then juice second. So don't do it the other way around. It's just, it's harder. So just go around, just get the, the oils. You don't wanna go too deep into the skin. And make sure you use organic if you can get it because it's just better for you, less chemicals on your lemon. All right, once you get all the zest in there, give a little roll to your lemon to just kind of release some of those juices. And then I'm gonna cut it in half and squeeze it in there. Now, if you get any seeds in there, just fish them out. In this case, it was the stem. And I like to just, just mix this up a little bit. Now, we'll place the chicken in the, the marinade so far at this point. Oops, a little splatter. Toss it to coat. Now, you can see that these thighs are you know, they kind of open up a little bit because they took the bone out and they lay pretty flat on the grill when you grill them, so they don't take very long to cook up. So from here, I like to just add by hand some salt. Some pepper. And I'm using powdered garlic here. You can use fresh if you want, but I think the powder is easy and it works just as well and I have some oregano. And I'm using dried oregano in this, and if you wanna use fresh, go ahead, but you'll have to add more because it's less uh, powerful than the dried. So I like to just sprinkle this right on top of the, the meat, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the second side. Now we're gonna take some fresh basil, my favorite herb. We're gonna stack the leaves, and then we're gonna roll them, and then we'll slice them up and chop it up nice and small. And then we'll just sprinkle this right over the top of our chicken. Now I'm gonna to toss that chicken again, turn it over, and I'm gonna season the second side. Here goes our salt, oregano, and garlic powder and pepper. Toss the chicken one more time, and then we'll cover it with saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator. Our chicken is marinating, so now is the time for our chef joke lovers. Chef joke number two. All right, here we go. Why did the chef add extra oregano to the sauce? Because he was making up for lost time. Okay, time to barbecue. I have the grill on medium heat, and now I'll just place the chicken right on the grill. I'm gonna cook the thighs to an internal temperature of about 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna turn them after about four or five minutes. You wanna make sure your grill is high enough in temperature, medium high, so that you get those beautiful grill marks on your chicken. 
After another four minutes or so, I'm gonna check the temperature, the internal temperature here with my instant read thermometer, and these made it up to about 165, so I'm gonna pull them off. All right, wasn't that quick and easy? Marinate it, you just pop it on the barbecue and you come out with this delicious chicken. I can tell you the smells are amazing. I smell the oregano and the basil and the garlic. Let's take a bite. Great flavors, guys. If you like basil and oregano and lemon and just all the flavors together, it's really good, very quick. Perfect recipe to put on any night of the week. You'll love it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and smash the like button. All right, we'll catch you next week.